Welcome back to The Very Life 18. This segment is what I call the Cousins Crew Christmas Sleepover Weekend. So we're all here having a great time. Of course, a lot of sugary sweets, hot chocolate, and our favorite thing, riding the by to look at Christmas lights. So we had so much fun. It was a good way to get away from the cares of the world and let these three little musketeers enjoy each other. So I had to mute them because they were talking about everything in the world. So many laughs, so much fun. <laughs> and this is what we all need this time, right? Good laughs. Food and family. Another one of our tradition is riding around looking at Christmas light displays. We found this house by accident. It was such a lovely surprise. Um, but look at this, you all. Isn't this cool? You think this is amazing? We have one behind us. Wait for it. It will blow your socks off. But yeah, Christmas music, windows down, drinking hot chocolate, loving this. Are you ready? It that's amazing. <laughs> if you're in Lynchburg, this is known as the Leesville Roadhouse. I had to turn back around and record it again. But look at this. Yeah. So this is Wally's bed. It's a do-it-yourself project we worked on. And I got all the ideas from Pinterest. Can't go wrong with Pinterest or Google, right? And I already had these little fleece blankets. Um, and they're pretty cheap, you know, over the years they've gotten cheaper. And me and the girls just worked on cutting strap strips and um, tying them up. And you literally, like, make a bed. <laughs> and I got my pillows. Remember from last vlog, I got a bunch of pillows from Goodwill. So those firm pillows were, like, $2 each. So basically, I made a dog bed for, like, 10 bucks. Um, it's nice and warm, and you just kind of, like, knot it. And it just really starts coming together once you start creating the knots. Um, and just think, one particular side you use to take your pillows out, you can just put it in the washer and then dry it just fine. It's not like a regular dog bed where, you know, the foam will come out in your washer or the foam clumps together and never separates again. Um, it was fun, you know, we all participated and, you know, just a few minutes, it wasn't hours. I think the longest part was me just cutting the strips, but other than that, me and the girls tied all these knots together. If you look here, you know, you can see where the corner is where I'll put the pillow and then, you know, stuff it and then just tighten your edges. So maybe 45 minutes, done. And look who's happy. <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> oh, and this made my heart so happy. Later on, he just slept on and broke it in. So good job. You know what time it is. Happy Sunday, everybody. Getting ready for church. So, I have a lovely, lovely, uh, whoops, lost the frame a bit. Sorry, guys. It's a sweater dress I got. I think I thrifted from Goodwill. Still had the tags on it from H&M. And guess what? It's a maternity sweater dress. <laughs> so, I feel like extra ruching is always nice. Um, this drapey vest I've had for years from Old Navy. I can dress it up or dress it down. Um course some just fancy leg work and my little flat slides um, nice and comfortable but believe it or not guys it was like 65 degrees this Sunday um, so I was able to leave the house without a coat and my sweater excuse me not sweater um, my necklace was thrifted but I believe it's a Chico's piece it's so heavy but I love it it kind of picks up whatever colors you're wearing and so um, just enjoying the lovely day and I hope you have a wonderful, safe Sunday.
You guys know what time it is, self-care Sunday. I did it at home manicure with this Nicole polish. Isn't it gorgeous? Burgundy and glitter, perfect for the holidays. Just a regular manicure. This is my gel polish, and I've topped it off with this um, instant top coat. Dries quickly, great. Nothing like a good at home manicure. When I tell you I was fixing these curry lentils on a summery Sunday, <laughs> it was nearly 70 degrees Sunday, but you know, still gotta eat. But yeah, this will be my nice hearty meal. Add some coconut milk to these curry, and um, it's pretty amazing. And I tell you, the coconut milk really like balances out the curry spice, makes it really creamy, and gives you a good fat too. But it just kicks up all those flavors, and it makes it a really savory, um, fulfilling meal. And of course, my day always starts with daily devotionals, Bible, reading, stretching, meditating. So take care of yourself, people. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like and share.